name is Peston. I live in Cape Town and also I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Racing on Tuesday takes place out at Hollywood Bet Gravel. We've got an eight race program with race number one set to get underway at 12.35 over the 1400 meter trip. It is racing on Tuesday and Wednesday here at Hollywood Bet Gravel. So two uh, days in a row to look forward to racing in KZN and uh, eight races on the program respectively. Obviously Wednesday will be run on the turf, Tuesday will be run on the poly track. And I think we've got a juvenile race that will get the day started on Wednesday, but we're focusing on the Tuesday meeting and uh, joining me in studio is Sheldon to do this uh, preview show for uh, racing on Tuesday. And Sheldon, how are you doing? Yes, Hill to you and all the viewers out there, all good this side of the world and really looking forward to the card, found a little bit of value on the card and these are the type of cards where if you structure your perms right and you find the right type of horses, always worth having a little bit of a nibble and hopefully at the end of the day we find those horses and they arrive. Before we get into uh, this, uh, this card, um, do you have a... Did you watch a racing at uh, Hollywood West Kilometre over the weekend? Yes, some very good racing and some very good performances out there. And that horse on Green with Envy? That horse Green with Envy, now we can see what he's all about. Yeah. I remember calling him first time when he made his debut here. We, they thought he was quite highly regarded. And now he's starting to show his true ability. So I think that horse Green with Envy, all the winners on the day, a spectacular day's racing. And when the KwaZulu Natal winter season comes and we start seeing these horses in the flesh, it's going to be absolutely out of this world. Yeah, certainly looking forward to it. And we're not that far away from the start of uh, the KZN champion season. Race number one, 12.35, as I mentioned, the barport begins here, 1,400 metres the trip. It is a maiden plate that will get the day started. And uh, having a look at the fixed odds betting market, Irish Luck tops the boards at 22 to 10. Helsinki gets the services of Richard Furry, so it is a bit of a jockey strike here. He's at 28 to 10. 5 to 1 about Cabernet, 6 to 1. Global Movement, 8 to 1. And better by all those. Now, the, the three horses that dominate in the market, and uh, they uh, obviously met last time out behind uh, Griffin Park, where Irish Luck finished third. Helsinki was the horse that finished second, and then we had Cabernet in uh, that fourth position. So there wasn't a lot to choose between all three of them. and. The likes of Cabernet and Irish Luck probably have more improvement to come than Helsinki, who has at 13 starts. But what is notable is that Richard Free takes the ride, so that's obviously got to take, be taken into account. But uh, I, th I think that this horse, Irish Luck, stepping up to 1400 meters, I think that could just be the right move by the yard. I think 1200 could just be on the sharper side for him. I think from draw two, I think he'll get the right run in transit. And for me, he's going to be my top selection, but obviously healthy respect for the two Paul Lefty runners. Quite interesting, if you look at that last run, Irish Luck, they tried the blinkers over the 1200 to sharpen him up, so the 1400 will be right up his alley. You look at Helsinki, they tried the tongue tie, and then Cabernet, they put the blinkers on, so a little bit of desperation and a little bit of trying a few new things in the game. But I think number six, Helsinki, he's a thinking horse. So Richard Ferry, he'll make sure that he doesn't think on the day. He'll yeah. get his mind on the job. And if you look at that run, second, third and fourth, they ran behind Griffin Park. So there's not going to be a lot to choose between them. Unfortunately, Helsinki and Cabernet, they both come with a book of excuses. Short, coughing, bumped, short. So these horses, they have got their issues. And that might be where number two, Irish Luck, as you mentioned, might just be able to have the edge. Uh, so looking at race number one, I'm going to be narrowly in the camp of number six, Helsinki. But number two, Irish Luck and number seven, Cabernet. They're going to be right there when the whips are cracking in race number one. good fun days like these are, are great you get the whole industry together um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone mm -hmm. 